Here's Brian to talk about how all this comes together in Pixel 6. Thanks, Monica. Let's start with the camera. Ever since our first Pixel five years ago, the Pixel camera has set the bar and reshaped the industry. Our leadership in computational photography and machine learning have led to some remarkable camera capabilities over the years and have let Pixel users take some extraordinary pictures, even when we've used ordinary camera components. With Pixel 6, we're applying all that software expertise to a fully upgraded camera system for the most advanced smartphone camera in the world. It's leagues ahead of our previous Pixel cameras, from the hardware to the software to the computational photography. For starters, let's take a look at the main camera. Both Pixel 6 and 6 Pro have a massive new 1 over 1.3 inch 50 megapixel sensor. We combine adjacent pixels on the sensor to get extra large 2.4 micron pixels. With night sight, the Pixel camera has always been able to do a lot with very little light. But now the primary sensor captures up to two and a half times as much light thanks to those huge pixels. This means you're gonna get photos with even greater detail and richer color. Both phones also have completely new ultra-wide cameras with larger sensors than before, so photos look great when you want to fit more in your shot. Pixel 6 Pro has a larger ultra-wide front camera that records 4K video. It also has a telephoto lens with 4x optical zoom for getting in close. That's not easy to fit in a phone without making it super thick. To get that much magnification, the Pixel camera uses what's called folded optics. A flawless prism bends to light 90 degrees so that the camera can fit in the body of the phone and you can get up to 20x zoom with an improved version of Pixel's Super Res Zoom, our advanced computational approach to combining optical and digital zoom. Finally, the sensor behind the telephoto lens is even larger than the primary rear sensor in past Pixel phones, so you can capture great low-light zoom shots with Night Sight. When this amazing hardware is paired with Tensor, we can build new camera features that were impossible before. Video is a great example. Video is a hard use case for computational photography because you're basically taking lots of photos very quickly. Applying a machine learning algorithm to a single photo is very different than running the same algorithm for each frame 60 times per second. We've always dreamed of getting Pixel's video quality up to the signature photo quality, but it wasn't possible. The processor just wouldn't be able to keep up. So we spent years on this problem and have made a lot of progress. We started by developing more efficient methods for applying tone mapping edits very quickly and doing everything we could to get the most out of the sensor. We also developed an algorithm called HDRNet, which could deliver the signature pixel look much more efficiently. With Tensor, we're able to embed parts of HDRNet directly into the ISP and accelerate it to make the process faster and more efficient. With this system, Pixel 6 can now run HDRNet on 4K video at 60 frames per second. That's 498 million pixels each second. And this is what Pixel 6 video looks like. You can see what a huge improvement this is. The color accuracy is excellent, with a big boost to the vividness, the stabilization, and overall video quality. This is all thanks to the bigger camera sensors, Google's cutting-edge machine learning, and the efficiency gains from the new Tensor chip. It's a giant step forward. Have you ever had a perfect photo ruined by something random in the background? Let's say you want to be the only one on the beach in your photos. If you don't have access to a deserted island or don't want to spend hours in a photo editing suite, Pixel's new Magic Eraser can do the job. In Google Photos, you'll see suggestions for distractions you might want to remove from your photo. Erase them all at once or tap to remove them one by one. What really sets this feature apart is how we're able to figure out what you're trying to remove and how well we can fill what's in its place. Even if something is not suggested, you can still erase that distraction. Just circle them and they disappear. And you can use Magic Eraser on Pixel to clean up all your photos, whether you took them a minute ago or years ago. Here's Hollywood production designer, Hannah Beekler to show you what's possible with Magic Eraser. Hey, Hannah Beekler, production designer and world builder, working on Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever. I oftentimes consider myself a story designer and I'm designing towards moods okay. and tones. I love this building. I have to go back to my dad. We would drive around and we would just make up fantasy places. I can just remember seeing everything that he would say. Yeah, if I crop that. 
When I go on a location, I'm photographing hundreds of places. And for me, I have to envision what that certain place is going to look like for our story. Oh my gosh, this was the key gem in Creed. And they had this big workout station that we had to take out. And this is what I could have showed them all along. If I just had that gone. Oh, magic eraser. Yes. Oh, wow. That is not the right period car, so let's get rid of that. So I can present this as a 1950s space. Game changer. Ooh, so integral and so important to have a blank canvas, to have the creative conversations. And I think anyone should be able to do that. And I think they should be able to do it on the spot. Because oh, wow. once you start using that muscle of seeing past something, you're going to do it a lot. And then you're going to see the world and the creative. And I think that it's a great tool. I know I'm going to use it. <laughs>
We've designed QuickTap to launch into camera-only mode so Snapchatters can create snaps even if they haven't yet unlocked their device. Once you make a great snap that you want to share, simply authenticate on your device to unlock the full app experience. With QuickTap to Snap, Pixel 6 will be the fastest phone to make a snap. And we're also working with Google on exclusive augmented reality lenses and bringing other key Pixel features like live translation directly into the chat feature on Snapchat. Snapchatters can talk to their friends in more than 10 languages and conversations will be translated in real time. These are the first features coming to Snapchat on Pixel 6, and we can't wait to bring more innovation to our community with our partners at Google. Hey y'all, I'm Florian, and I lead Google's Image Equity Initiative, our cross-product mission to improve camera and image tools for people of color. Going back decades, cameras have centered light skin, a bias that's crept into many of our modern digital imaging products and algorithms, especially because they're not being tested with diverse enough groups of people. Photos are symbols of what and who matter to us collectively, so it's critical that they work equitably for everyone, especially communities of color like mine, who haven't always been seen fairly by these tools. This year, one of the advances in Pixel 6 and Google Photos that we're most excited about is Realtone. We knew that building for the community meant we had to acknowledge our own gaps and learn from the folks who know this issue best. So we started by working with image experts like photographers, cinematographers, and colorists who are celebrated for their beautiful and accurate imagery of communities of color. We asked them to test our cameras in a wide range of tough lighting conditions. And in the process, they took thousands of portraits that made our image data sets 25 times more diverse to look more like the world around us. They worked directly with our engineers telling them what was already working well and where we needed to do better to make sure our images highlighted the nuances of all skin tones equally. And they kept it real. When they had a really white background on the back or a light or anything, like they just looked very washed out. And you know, it's a beautiful pink sunset. There's no reason why she should be looking this green. For this, I would love it if the camera, if this, ca if this picture was darker the second image absolutely not it sh no it was just the color was everything was just ashy if there isn't adequate light the skin can sometimes skew a little gray or desaturated when you take a picture of someone and they look gray like that's not you know that's not good it negated the blue it like washed out the blue that would have had the the brown hue show up more in his skin. I think that the instinct is suddenly if somebody is not used to shooting darker skin tones, the the instinct is to just be like, you know, to shoot them much brighter. And it's just like, no, there really is like, we should appreciate and really sort of work toward like all the different hues and all the different tonalities. How do we make sure that when someone grabs that phone, and it takes a photo of them, they see themselves. It should be that everybody just kind of looks like they look. All of that wisdom helped us make a more equitable camera. First, to make a great portrait, your phone has to see a face in the picture. And our experts helped us improve our face detection models so the camera sees you as you are. From there, we improved our auto white balance tuning to better reflect the beauty of your skin tone and we improved our auto exposure tuning to make sure your skin looks like you, not unnaturally darker or brighter. They also inspired our teams to make advances like algorithmically reducing stray light that can make darker skin tones look ashy or washed out, and making night sight portraits less blurry for folks like me. All of these changes are part of Realtone, improvements that led these experts to vote Pixel 6 as the most inclusive camera available. In a blind test across top smartphone cameras, they rated Pixel 6's camera as best in rendering skin tone, brightness, richness, and detail for people of color. Google Photos will also have real tone baked into its auto-enhance editing feature, so you always feel seen, from the instant you take a photo to the moment you edit and share it. But this mission goes beyond Google Apps. Real tone will improve the camera performance for photos and videos in third-party apps like Snapchat, because feeling seen shouldn't be limited to just one tool or company. This fall, we partnered with the New York Times to see how some of the most compelling contemporary image makers put real tone to work in their own art. Let's take a look. 
For decades, you know, there have been generalizations made about people of color in imagery and just how they've been shown and show up in their portrayals. It, it whitewashes our history in some ways. Image technology was calibrated for white skin, and that meant that the variety and spectrum of colors had to therefore conform to that calibration. Picture Progress is a campaign created by T Brand, our content studio at New York Times Advertising, in partnership with Google. The campaign for us is an opportunity to literally lay the groundwork of opening the dialogue around what does it look like to have a more equitable and visually representative future. We put the Pixel 6 camera in the hands of BIPOC creators. We felt as though getting their unique perspective on image equity was very important. Kennedy Carter joined us on this effort. We were so excited to work with her. What we love about Kennedy is that her work expresses and really captures and elicits really unique questions around what does pride and power and compassion and poise mean in the Black community. It's important to think of images as facts, whether it's an image of your family and your grandma cooking dinner, or it's something like a protest. This will be a point of reference for a very long time. I found that a lot of my sitters looked good no matter where they were. And that was just straight out the camera. And people were on set looking at the image output. And they were like, wow, this looks really great. If you're an artist, you should go into every community with the intention of trying to elevate a voice and make people feel heard and make people feel good and make people feel proud. This will be a game changer for sure. There's something very empowering about being able to see yourself as you see yourself, to see the nuances that make us all unique. Being able to know that you take a photo with a group of friends and everyone is represented equally. All of their beautiful hues are showing up in the same photo. It's our truth in our hands. I'll hand it back to Brian now to take you through some remarkable speech innovations in Pixel 6. Tensor is unlocking so many helpful camera features in Pixel 6. From improved video quality, to face unblur, to motion mode. We think it all adds up to Pixel 6 being the most advanced intelligent smartphone camera. Next up, let's talk about how Tensor is making typing much faster on Pixel. Obviously, speaking is the fastest and most natural way to go, but today's voice input systems just haven't been up to the task. First. Understanding the nuance of human speech is really a hard problem with challenges that are unique to each person. It means understanding syntax, intent, 